Shem, Ham, and Japheth. They were not just children. They were children that represented nations. Three of them populated the entire earth. So what you see on the earth today, emerged from these three sons. Shem, the first one, represents Israel. So Ham came from the river called Gihon. Now from Ham came the Canaanites. Egypt, simply say Africa. Japheth means extension. Japheth means expansion. If other Europe came from those places, Asia Minor came from those places. One important thing about Shem or Israel is that they are the only stem of God that had the revelation of the name of God. And the revelation that the African continent, the Ham, had was Habalism. You say, why is Africa not into invention? It's very simple. Those who follow idols, they become dull. The first Habalist in the Bible came from Africa. His name is Nimrod. And he was reported as the global and the best herbalist. You find that at best in Africa, the only thing we have to show to the world is ministry. And even that ministry, many people use some idolatry to enhance it. A time is going to come in the prophetic destiny of Africa that Africa is going to still have its head high up in the midst of Shem and in the midst of Japheth. Churches are being sold. Jesus said, what is going on Shem? What is going on, Japhet? This is not the gospel that we handed over to you. Jesus said it can't be solved by the people inside. The people in the room have messed up the room. I need to do something about the room that he went outside and put together. Can I announce to you, I'm one of the people that he's putting together. You are one of the people he's putting together. Oh, you don't sound like your business is one that is putting together. You thought you just stumbled into that business. You thought you stumbled into that idea. It is God putting it together. Somebody say together. And it's not just going to be a one man show. It's not going to be this man is great. That man is a together. Together. Because the agenda of Africa. Together. 